Hi there. Today we are going to interface a sensor TMP112 with particle photon. Now uh, you can take a look at the sensor at controleverything.com and you can buy the sensor from here. It is a temperature sensor with an accuracy of plus minus 0.5 degrees Celsius and a 12 bit resolution. It has an accuracy without calibration. Now for the code of this sensor you can check out the resources section. Here you can see the particle code and you can even go to our github repository which is the control everything community. Now let's take a look at the code. Uh, let's go to github.com and here you need to search for control everything community. Inside control everything community search for the sensor TMP112 and then you need to take a look at the instructions. Now you need to log in inside the photon and set up your device according to the instructions given onto this link. Then uh, you can download the code from this repository and then you need to copy the code and paste it inside the online IDE and the link to the IDE is this. And then uh, you need to verify and flash the code and you can see the output on the dashboard and this is the link to the dashboard. Now uh, let's take a look at the code inside particle and here's the code. Uh, first of all uh, the code is in the .ino format and you need to add two header files which is application.h and spark wiring i2c.h. Now onto the device address which is 0x48 uh, you need to write 0x60 and 0x80 for continuous conversion in comparator mode and 12-bit resolution on the configuration register which is 0x01. After that you need to read back data. Uh, the data will be in 2 bytes and you can read it this way. To convert the data you need to check out the data sheet and you can find the formula there. Now to publish it onto the dashboard these are the two commands that you use. Now it will be in two formats degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. Let's take a look at the hardware and then we'll follow up with the code. Alright in hardware first of all you require a particle photon and then you require an I2C adapter. Now you can find this I2C adapter on controleverything.com. To attach the particle, gently push the particle header onto the I2C adapter. Now once the connection is made, you require a sensor. This is the TMP112 and to connect this sensor to particle, you require an I2C cable and here is the I2C cable. While making connections, please make sure that the brown of the cable is connected to the ground of this sensor this way and similarly to the particle as well. Now to power up the particle you need a micro USB cable. Now let's connect the micro USB cable and the particle has been powered up. Alright, for the implementation of the code, first of all you need to copy the code. Once you have copied the code, you need to go to build.particle.io forward slash build. And in here, you need to log in. Uh, please log in into the account with which your particle has been registered as told in the instructions before. You need to create a new app. Down here you can create a new app. Now let's title it temp112 and then control A and then B. Paste it here. Now once you have done that you need to save the code and then you need to verify it. Alright, uh, now once the code is verified you can flash the code and wait for the magenta light to come on the particle. Now as you can see the magenta light on particle, now this means the code has been successfully flashed.
open a new tab with the link dashboard.particle.io forward slash users forward slash logs and you can see the output here as you can see the output is in degree celsius and degree fahrenheit now when i put my finger onto the sensor the temperature increases similarly if i do that again the temperature increases again job now that you have understood the working of TMP112 with particle photon, let me tell you some of its applications. Uh, it has many portable and battery powered applications like you can use it in uh, power supply temperature monitoring or you can use it for computer peripheral thermal protection in notebooks, computers and for battery management etc etc. Well if you have any kinds of doubts or queries. You can ask us on our controleverything.com page and you can even leave your comments in the community section of controleverything.com. You can check out our blogs at hackster.io and instructables.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page and at the end, thanks for watching.